working on a pathogen called cucurbit downy mildew. So this particular pathogen affects all cucurbits and it's specific to the cucurbit family. And this pathogen is important for the state of Florida because we grow quite a bit of cucurbits. We are ranked pretty high in terms of production for uh, watermelon, cucumber, cantaloupe. So this pathogen affects all those species and it is a very devastating disease if left unchecked. Um, if growers do not control this disease in terms of uh, host resistance or fungicides, it will completely wipe out the plants. It does not take long. Um, our humidity and the amount of rain that we get in the state of Florida is more than enough to really get this disease going. It, it really doesn't take much to, to take off. So managing this disease is extremely important for, for growers in the state of Florida. Um, what I'm doing as a PhD student is characterizing uh, and identifying what our population structure is at this point. That's one of my projects. So what that means is we are sampling um, cucurbit fields for downy mildew uh, in all of the major cucurbit production areas in the state of Florida, uh, from Homestead all the way to Quincy, Florida. There's about five locations in general and they all cover all the major production regions. And so we're taking samples fr from these grower fields and bringing them back to the lab and I'm doing um, a, a population study. And so what we'll be able to do is to determine how diverse our population is for the state of Florida and how it compares to other states north of us. Um, another part of my project is to evaluate uh, fungicide efficacy. So there are many different fungicides that are available for use for this particular pathogen, which is not completely common when it comes to different diseases, especially when you're talking about uh, other crops other than ve vegetables. So there's a lot of different um, fungicides that these growers can, can utilize. The problem is the products that these growers are using, some of these products aren't working as well as they have in the past particularly the ones that have worked well in the past and the growers have relied on. So what we're doing out here in this field trial is evaluating different fungicides um, and seeing how well they work. So are we seeing differences uh, in host, the actual host species, um, uh, season? Are we seeing differences in how well the products work per season? Uh, we're looking at a few different options, uh, how, to, how we would rotate these different products so the end result is first to identify which products are working the best and then implement those products in what we would term a fungicide spray program. So this is something a grower would utilize. The University of Florida does not have a fungicide spray program specific to downy mildew for, for our growers uh, in the state of Florida. So that's something I'm, I'm gonna work on. And so what that means is we'll have a program with different products and varying rotations that growers can utilize and depending on the program they'll, they'll get uh, comparable control of the disease.